what is going on everybody i am back here for another turtle evolution video it has been a little bit you might hear from my voice i've been a little sick over the past few days i feel like i'm getting sick every two days for anyone out there that has little kids uh, i'm sure you understand but <laughs> regardless we have a new update that went live last night which is well a pretty small one but we are going to get back on track here they did take a short break here um, because of the Lunar New Year, and they usually go on vacation for that, which is why they preloaded a bunch of events like the Valentine's Day event, and which is why we kind of got that at an awkward time, and honestly, a lot of the previous updates at an awkward time, but we are back to a regular schedule in which our new update will be dropping tomorrow, and the big highlight of this one is the fact that now we have a new Awakenable hero in Viserys, okay? So this character, well, kind of interesting because they added that hunter vazarus which i never ended up doing a video on as i said i got sick like right after uh that update drop but from what i've tested and what i've seen out there vazarus kind of fits just below rebecca in terms of how valuable he is and how valuable the hunters became because of him i think i would rate him as the second best hunter excluding artemis because you know artemis is an sp character so definitely an improvement to the hunter squad and Raceris is around that like third or fourth best hunter so having her be awakened can actually give a whole new dynamic to the hunter squad and actually make them somewhat more viable so I'm pretty interested in seeing that take place but overall even though Viserys is a good character I still wouldn't rate the hunters very highly I still think they're somewhat mediocre as a overall faction inside the game compared to a lot of other factions despite that well her awakening looks pretty interesting so we have the new ultimate skill she's gonna go ahead and hit players uh, targeting enemy heroes dealing damage inflicting fear and each time deal percentage of attack and trigger basic attack effects uh performs an additional attack for every certain attack speed and triggers the basic attack effects and then adds a layer of curse target will take more singular damage upon death uh, her death effect activates dead souls attack the target with curse um, deals true damage equal to percent of the target's max HP then the curse marks disappear and at the start of battle applies one curse mark to all targets target with curse mark will apply one curse mark to targets around it upon death her new passive skill devouring nightmare the everlasting duration is now extended for an entire fight or everlasting nightmare duration is extended after the first resurrection she's going to increase her attack and when allied Renfear characters are killed she's going to restore energy so overall this kit looks to just be a lot more dps a lot more value for the hunters and potentially a little bit more value if you happen to get her revived which is not necessarily trivial it's not like super easy to do and so well we'll see if that's gonna be something that actually takes place i don't think it will so i don't really think this is gonna change the hunters and even more so i don't really think this is gonna change the Reseris potential that much like I don't think it means oh you want to get Reseris so much that um she's even more valuable than someone like a Rebecca but we'll have to see some awakened characters have really surprised me like Daniel and then some have really disappointed me like Masrani whom again uh, not like insanely powerful for PvE content at least so uh something to consider uh even though well the supports in general are just not really that great uh for a ton of different things in the game except for Purin. Purin's just so powerful other than that we have a new wishlist event for Reseris Dorily Semael so a pretty strong one if you are going to go for that Reseris then that's going to be a good one to go for uh, Dorily and Semael are also very strong new giant tower for Reseris and Reseris soul crystal nuclei quantum mimic machine for Barog hero rally and They've adjusted the alternate world shop to add Mezrani soul crystals to the shop. So this is going to be pretty important because what this does is it actually sets us on the path forward for anyone that's interested in getting the new awakenable characters. It looks like you're going to be able to get them in that specific shop pretty close to like an update or two after you actually get that awakened character. Um, maybe not an update or two, but maybe like within the month that you get that new awakened character between uh, Rez, you have Mizrani and Daniel, you're actually getting pretty close 
uh to being able to just get access to all of them within the shops and uh you know farm them up right because we have daniel and leo in the alternate world shop then we have the uh res crystal nuclei in the galactic arena shop and then well you're going to be adding mesrani in here and so if you're looking for a new awakened character and you think it's going to be good you actually might want to consider saving up the alternate world coins because it looks like they're just going to be adding it right it's like right now i can get 65 of leo or 65 of daniel i don't really see a purpose to doing that i was buying the daniel ones pretty consistently uh but as of late i already have my daniel to awaken five and so i don't really feel like i need to push him any further awaken six would be a nice one i get extra crew acre damage right awaken seven would be even better and so on and so forth but i'm not really pushing any content right now because i've already beaten it all and so if you're in a similar position than i am there's no reason to just not sit on your uh coins here especially since this resets pretty regularly and you can pick up 180 shards between the resets so there's always going to be time to spend these little coins so you don't really have any sort of rush to pick up all the different uh soul crystals every single time you get a choice instead if you're looking to let's say pump up Reseris, you might want to wait until she's going to be added to the alternate world shop which it looks to be every character will be added to some shop or another um as everyone has been so far uh, that was one of the things i was worried about with leo but they shortly added him to that shop so this is pretty interesting and i think that they're handing handling awakens pretty nicely one every month it is a lot if you're free to play you're not going to be able to keep up whatsoever it is something that well you're going to get overwhelmed very quickly so don't try to keep up and try to max out all the characters just try to you know stay afloat and pick the characters that you really want to focus on and reach a threshold i think awaken fives are a pretty good benchmark because after you get to that point um the later awakens start to get so expensive with triple soul crystal nuclei needed the earlier ones just having one is pretty easy and then once you get to those later stages um you know three to four or five things like that you're starting to spend two crystal nucleus which uh again is very expensive so it's part of the reason why i only have daniel at awaken five and my leo and mesrani aren't nearly even uh that progressed in fact my um my uh mesrani i forgot to pick up this but um on my account it's it's really just not that great i've been able to test like an awaken 10 and that's just it doesn't really do all that much for your uh, pv content so i haven't really progressed that a ton for me at least of course if you're pvp mesrani's gonna be one of the best daniel's the best for pv leo's still decent for pv and res well kind of whatever <laughs> to be honest not really that impressive uh probably the weakest awaken out of all of them uh even more so than mesrani we'll see where Reseris lands i think she'll probably be um somewhere around like leo uh, to daniel level a little bit better than leo i think just because Reseris was already a very strong character and one of the better hunters this might put the hunters on the map um as i said with Viserys, but because i said that with Viserys and i'm still not impressed with the hunters we'll probably find ourselves in a similar situation after that awakens release so let me know what you think in the comment section down below again i pardon my uh, all of you for my voice or i uh, pardon for my voice here because uh i am sick and uh i'll be putting out some videos but uh gonna try to recover the voice gonna try to recover the voice and then i'll be back to it thanks for watching and i'll see you all for the next one